there for you Calling me when you're lonely Dancing on the roof It feels like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Thank you for clicking on today's video. I have definitely been feeling a little under the weather the past few days, really since like Saturday after I worked with my dad. I've been like super tired and progressively getting more and more congested, which then leads to a very, very, very sore throat. I have not recorded much, like if anything, over the past few days. Today we're going to change that. Even though I don't feel very good and I'm still not sure if I'm going to go to the gym today or not. Um, I don't want to like not record on the days where I don't feel good because in reality we all have days where we don't feel good. I really want to be as real with you guys as possible and show you like every aspect of my life which also includes days where I don't feel very good. So with that being said, we're just going to kind of get right on into today. I am going to head off to work right now and then we'll see how I feel after I get off work and maybe I'll go work out. Maybe I'll just take another off day. Um, I did work out Sunday morning. It was a crappy workout. Um, you guys have already seen it by now or it's earlier on in this video. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I, Sunday morning is when I realized like I really didn't feel good. I got up and went to the gym and as soon as I got there and started doing stuff, I was like, man, I am just like exhausted. So yeah, I didn't work out yesterday. Yesterday was an off day for me and today, today might be one as well, depending on how I feel. I am drinking some aminos. I have my coffee. This is the strawberry margarita that I told you guys about before. I actually really, really like it. Um, they have a watermelon flavor too that I wanna get. Flavor, I really do like the strawberry margarita though. You guys know I use like strawberry flavored everything like in my jug. So this has been really good in my jug recently. But yeah, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling. We're gonna get this day started and we'll just see where the day takes us. Christopher and I might be recording some kind of like challenge video tonight though, which that will be a ton of fun. So let's get the day started. Let's head off to work. I might take some Advil before I leave. And yeah, well, let's go. Today's not a full day of eating or anything, but just so you know what I'm taking to work today. To eat is just one of these Think Thin protein bars maple almond i haven't tried this before saw it at the store and i was like cool give it a whirl and my leftovers from yesterday it is just chicken brown rice and um squash so this is going to be my lunch and like maybe mid-morning snack depending on if i get my appetite back a little bit okay while i'm on my way to work i kind of want to touch upon like when you should take off days. I've addressed this in a video during prep, but it was different because I was on prep and like my goals and stuff were different. So it's gonna be different for each person and depending on like how you feel, how sick you feel, I don't make it complicated. I just kind of go off of like, if I just think I'm having one day where I'm just not feeling well, I'll probably still go to the gym unless it was already supposed to be an off day or I can afford an off day or whatever. But if, if I feel like I'm actually sick or getting sick, obviously you're gonna be the only one who's gonna know that you know your body better than anybody. So just kind of listen to what your body is telling you. I know I can usually tell if it's just something where like, oh, I don't really feel good today or like, okay, I think I might actually be getting sick. Whenever I feel like I'm actually getting sick, off day. I mean, there's no reason to push your body and not let it rest when it wants to rest and not let it recover when it wants to recover unless you're in like a circumstance where you're on prep or something. But still, even then, like if you're really sick, take an off day. I mean, pushing through that and making yourself more sick and most likely you're going to be not as effective in the gym or you're not going to get as good of workouts and stuff because you don't feel good. It is always better to just take an off day and see if you feel better. I'm always an advocate for taking rest when you need it. Definitely not pushing your body when it doesn't want to be pushed. And I feel like, I mean, no one else is gonna be able to tell you like, oh no, you're fine today, just, just go to the gym. Because at the end of the day, you know your body better than anyone. Your body sends you signals and like little messages and stuff that only you can really interpret and you're the only one who's gonna be able to make that decision for yourself. So, at the end of the day, 
if you feel like, eh, I'm just kind of having a day where I don't feel the best, and you were supposed to work out that day and you, you still want to, I think you're fine to go work out. But if you feel like you're genuinely getting sick and a rest day would help you maybe prevent getting, like not get sick, don't go to the gym. I'm home from work. I just got home and time is it? 2.30? 2.41. Um, and I ate my, the two things I showed you, I brought that little bar and um, my chicken, squash, and rice. I didn't eat all of that. So I'm pretty hungry right now. I'm just going to have a protein smoothie and I haven't made a protein smoothie on here in a while so I figured I would show you even though I feel like I still do the same thing like every time so first off I put about this much ice this is a pretty big cup I have the magic bullet and it's just like the smaller magic bullet cup I'll do some cashew milk I get the unsweetened this is the lowest calorie milk I could find just 25 calories for serving I always do just mixed berry obviously you can do whatever you want but I do mixed berry. Well, okay, I've never gotten this before. These actually come like pre-packaged. That's, I'm not gonna use this whole thing though. That's quite a lot. I'm just gonna do about a half a cup fruit. Yes, yeah, so that's probably like over, over a cup. It's a lot of fruit, man. I'm gonna put some peanut butter in there. I, if I want to do like a half a serving or a whole serving, either way, I always use my food scale just because peanut butter is so high in calorie and fat and all of that. I think it's just worth weighing out. So 33 grams is a serving on this. I am going to do like probably half a serving. 16 grams. Put that in there. And then we just do one scoop of protein right on there i might end up adding some more milk i just kind of always eyeball that this is the protein i'm using just the vanilla cake you guys know i'm working i'm an athlete for this company now um so i do have a discount code if you want to try this or they have vanilla or um they have chocolate cake dessert protein natural protein and then they're coming out vegan protein soon but this is just their performance protein vanilla cake it is really really good and mixes up the best out of any of the protein i've tried you can it's gonna be super hard to tell i don't even know if it'll show it is like super super fine so it seriously mixes up amazing but where's the lid here we go that is all that's in here i shake it up and then we come over here to the magic bullet. This is definitely gonna need more liquid, I think. And voila, we have a fruit smoothie. I like mine thicker, just because generally I kind of take a while to drink them, and then it kind of makes it feel more like ice cream. Finishing touch, a smoothie straw, because how can you, you know, have a smoothie without a smoothie straw? Oh yeah, that's delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this. Probably start working on some videos and then I'll chat with you guys after. Chris and I recorded a try not to laugh challenge at his parents' house and it is 7.45 and we're on our way back and I was hungry so I got my Beef It Cafe pizza. Be oh, and it's flashing at me like it's gonna die. Okay, well. Got my beef at Cafe Pizza. Christopher has been in Chipotle for seriously like 15 minutes now. What is taking so long? But by the time you see this, I hope you guys enjoyed the challenge video. It's fun making. And I told you guys, what the heck took you so long? That's freaking Powell for you. Holy crap. I was just complaining to them how long you were taking. Yeah. There was like, there. okay, so there's only like it was a long six people in front of me and that's how long did that take 12 Literally, minutes i think 15. it's a long time guys okay well now we're on our way home and then i can eat my pizza i was gonna say how proud of you how proud of me are you that i have not eaten a piece of this mm. 
proud but surprised. Very surprised. I I normally eat food on the way home. Good afternoon, guys. It is not only like the next day, it's like the next, 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 next day. I was just editing the footage you just saw and realized, I don't know what if something's wrong with my camera or my memory card or something, but I had recorded a clip basically talking about what happened when I was in my class. I mentioned that I had like a rough day at class the one day and I had kind of like a rough experience and I ended up meeting with my advisor. Oh my, all of that footage is gone. Uh. Okay, anyway, so on the 19th I had, I did like a whole day's worth of vlogs and none of the footage saved, so that's fine, but the one thing I honestly am bummed that didn't save was I, I sat down and had like a right here and had a very personal conversation with you guys about um, a meeting I had with my advisor just basically about how I've been feeling, where I am, what I have going on, and what my best options are as far as basically how to get out of school, like graduate with a degree in the fastest way possible. Um, I haven't had a passion for marketing at all like I, I don't like what I'm in school for and I have been seriously struggling for like the past two years and I've just kept telling myself you know like push 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 because in high school that's especially in like the community I grew up in like our high schools do really well like they're rated really well academically and they just push on you like basically having a degree means you're going to be the successful human and that not having one means you know like you're going to basically struggle through life and not have success which i genuinely do not believe that i honestly have kind of never believed that i think a little bit in high school maybe i did but i, I genuinely think it comes down to the person you are how hard you're willing to work and just just each person as an individual so long story short i just kept like telling myself to push through push through just get the degree and get out and the past year or I would say maybe like six or seven months has really been a rough time for me as far as school is concerned I've been really struggling like I said um, not only just like with not liking what I'm studying but also I, I go to Ohio State I'm in the Fisher College of Business and Fisher is a really tough business school and it's hard enough if you're passionate about it and like actually enjoy business and finance or accounting or something like that and it's hard then and especially hard if you don't even enjoy it so really been struggling and I passed all the classes that I was like trying to push through and there was one class my second stats class that I have to pass in order to even get on to my marketing and in, into my marketing classes and that one I didn't pass and I was retaking it this semester and my I didn't do well on the first exam no I'm talking about like current time this semester and I talked to my professor a few times about how it wasn't my first time taking the course how I was you know I'm really 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 good at math like I aced calculus but stats is not math and for those of you who have taken stats you know stats is very different from just your normal math course doesn't necessarily click with me and Anyway, I had had a few conversations with, conversations with him and he seemed very supportive and like like he was going to help me and I don't know. He seemed really nice and then I went up to him after I got my exam back and was like asking him basically how I could improve and different things I could do on my own to help improve. I've always been really good at school, not because I have a photo photographic memory or like things come easy to me. I've just always worked really hard. So I was thinking to myself, you know, okay, I'll just start doing homework problems on my own, blah, blah, blah. So I'm talking to him about that and he basically cuts me off and tells me I'm like, I'm too far gone and that I should just drop the class. He knows that in order for me to get onto my other marketing classes, I have to pass this class. He knows it's my second time taking it. So he was like telling me to drop the course when it not only meant dropping that and getting like a W, which I had been told was not good to have in your transcript, um, but also to like possibly not go on and get a degree in what I had been in school for. Mind you, he also said this in front of other people, so I don't really care what other people think, but I like I don't care who you are. I feel no matter what, that would affect you a little bit. So I was pretty bummed out, but in the long run, it's going to end up being a good thing. Um, it 
basically forced me to finally actually try to make a decision and sit down not only think about it but to actually take action and figure out what i want to do because like i said i've been miserable my parents know how miserable i've been and we've like had conversations but then i just end up keep pushing on and when i was talking to you guys about this like when it actually happened i was still a little emotional and was just kind of trying to tell you guys that I'm gonna take time to think about everything I talked to my advisor about. I went to her hoping I would get more answers and I, I kind of knew this would happen. She basically just told me everything I already knew. I'm not a naive person. I don't make gut decisions. I mean, every once in a while, you know, we all do. But with serious stuff like that, like with my college degree, I'm not just gonna throw that away on a whim. Like I'm going to do my research and so I had the past two years I've been looking up a whole bunch of different stuff and other options and what classes I have to take. So she basically told me everything I already knew, which kind of bummed me out. But at the end of the day, I kind of expected that. And basically the whole point of the conversation that I had with you guys was just explaining that right now, although things might change, right now I'm taking a break from school because I've been given... I, like the stuff I have going on right now is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity and I feel like it's definitely not something I would ever want to pass up nor would I pass up and it just so happens that I'm also really in a rough spot with school right now. Um, I really want to get my personal training certification and there's like other things I want to research on my own that unfortunately like with what I want to do a degree doesn't there's not necessarily a degree that like encompasses all of that. So I'm going to take some time, do my own research, see if I want to go back to school, what it is I would want to go back to school for. Basically, my advisor told me that the quickest way to get out of school and like graduate with a degree would be to stick with business. And people keep telling me, they're like, oh, you know, like you've made it this far, just finish. And if it was that easy, I obviously would just like I would just finish. Um, it's that I have these classes in front of me that are giving me a lot of trouble and I end up coming out of the classes honestly feeling like pretty stupid um, when I know I'm not. It's just the fact that I don't learn the way that they teach them. There are these like hybrid classes which I'm not going to get into all of that because there's no reason to but I was just the whole point of recording the clip when I did record it, mad it didn't save, but was just to be really open and honest with you guys because I want to stay as real as possible on this channel, which I've said before, and just basically share my life experiences because I know 100% that I am not the only person my age dealing with this, or not even necessarily my age. I just know I'm not the only person who goes through this struggle with schooling, and you know, college really is not made for everyone. Like, I breezed through high school. High school was super pretty easy to me. Like, there was only one class that ever gave me trouble, and it was a class I just, at the end, I had no interest in it whatsoever, so therefore I probably didn't put as much time into it as I needed to. Anyway, that's just kind of a wrap-up. That is not everything I talked about the in the original clip, but... But I don't really honestly remember everything I said in that moment because like I said, I was still pretty emotional. I cried a little bit. <sighs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Anyone can have their opinions on whatever you choose to do in your life. But at the end of the day, you're the one that has to live your life. You're the one that has to be happy. And you have to make decisions for yourself. So obviously I was thinking about my family and like kind of like worried about what my family would think if I took time off school or didn't finish college and the experience I had in my class I just kept trying to push 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 and I ran into a situation that finally made me really step back and just think for myself because it was just like the icing on the cake for everything that had already happened it pushed me over the edge it was bawling on my way home and it was a mess honestly for the few days after that just because um it was just kind of a crappy situation and I yeah, I don't know. That is what I talked about. I am so sad the original one did not save and all of October 19th's footage just like vanished. So that's really weird. Maybe I have to check out what's wrong with my camera or the memory card, but either way, it's not here. So 
was a little recap of like my little life update, college update, schooling update, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so with all of that being said, now that you understand and like have the gist of basically what that talk was about, this next clip should make actual sense to you. Cause if this wasn't in here, I think you guys would've been a little lost. <laughs>